They have enough supplies to fill two shipping containers with aid for Puerto Rico. To be honest with you, I did not expect to have this many donations. They put out a call to Tampa Bay area residents and supplies came pouring in. It was just amazing to be able to see people going into a department store and say, hey, you know, my budget is 100 bucks and I'm going to go ahead and do a third of that and put into this, in, into this donation. Now they have thousands of pounds of water bottles, food and hygiene products. The problem is actually getting them over to the island. It's something they've been trying to do for almost a month now. We need to get all this stuff out of there. It doesn't do anything on my on, on my storage. It costs money to have it over here. It costs money to um, to ship it. And that's the one thing they don't have, the money for transportation. You can donate a dollar. Meanwhile, they keep seeing news that some communities in Puerto Rico are still in desperate need of help. It makes everyone feel useless in a way because you cannot expedite and get this stuff there right away. <laughs> But some donations from the Tampa Bay area have arrived in Puerto Rico. Lester Morales is from Tampa but lives on the island. He has been helping bridge the two. It's been a little more challenging than I think anybody would have uh, anticipated, but definitely rewarding. In part because people who could provide free transportation had already done it after Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. If you had a plane and you were trying to donate that plane, you can only do so so many times on your own. Dollar. The other option are ships, but sending a single container by water can cost anywhere from four to seven thousand dollars. About eight to ten containers we're gonna get filled up today. It has taken a lot of work, but Course of Action PR says they have already sent half a million pounds from Tampa to Puerto Rico. Lester has helped deliver some of it. It's been unbelievably heartwarming to uh, and just gut-wrenching. Some people who have not received water in five or six days, retirement communities who are rationing eight bottles of water amongst 60 residents and they're only allowed to drink water while they're taking their pills. But the work continues. Every day people in Tampa Bay are donating, sorting, and packing supplies. I tell you that the amount of donations that are still sitting in the states is, is still going to put not even put a dent in what's actually going to be needed, not only on the short term, but the long term to, to help the island get back on its feet. In order to finish the job, Tampa groups will need additional support.